Okay, General Manager Luke Garrick, before we head to Woking tomorrow afternoon, it's probably only one place for us to start. It would have been announced yesterday, the uh, signing of Kapongo Shimanga. Uh, obviously, a lot of fan, um, fans excited about that one. How excited are you to get that one over the line? I've got to be honest with you, it, it stems from Chairman and Charlie, the work that they've done. The admin that Charlie had to go through with a parent club, a loan club, and then for the chairman to go and pay the finances for him is incredible. Um, you can see with the responses on, on the social media how positive it is. And I'll be honest with you, my phone blew up yesterday from other managers saying what a signing. Let's hope he hits the ground running. We know what we can expect. He's got a record in the National League that's fantastic. And we're hopeful in the 16 games he can come and put some goals in the back of the net for us. We are coming off the, the back of a disappointing loss against Dorking. What, what sort of reaction are you, do you want to see from your players coming into tomorrow? Understanding this is a six-pointer. Understanding that we're playing a team against Woking, who have gone to Oldham and picked up a fantastic result. We're unfortunate not to draw the game at least against Chesterfield. Um, and you can see that they're starting to implement how Doyle wants to go and play. And we need to understand that we're going there. It's a relegation match fixture um, and it's a six pointer we need to have the understanding and mindset that we go in there with the mentality of going there to really put on a performance to warrant a result come 5 p.m yeah you mentioned they've had a manager change obviously that's uh, that's come off since we last played them with the 4-2 win what, what changes have you seen from since doyle's gone in at gone in woken he's recruited he's brought in personnel you see that in dice you see that in dylan kelly evans kendall walker um, he's had personnel back so i have to say he's been fortunate in terms of the likes of Kellerman coming back, um, the likes of Anderson coming back. These are people that Darren Sahl originally didn't have to his disposal. So you add that with recruitment and personnel recovering from injuries, he's getting a side now that's very competitive in the National League. You don't go away from Chesterfield and only lose 1-0. And I've watched the game, could have easily scored later on if decisions are made better in the final third and then go and put on a performance that warrants a win at Oldham. Oldham are obviously a team that are in form currently, but watching the game Woking were far superior on the day um, and we're not foolish we need to ensure that we go about our business tomorrow to make sure that we're getting the result come 5 p.m. Yeah after the Dorking game in your interview you said that a lot of teams around us are starting to pick up points now starting runs on our own how important is it for us to try and start our run of our, of our own? I said it listen we've been in promotion races we've been in relegation battles when you're in a promotion race and you go and lose you check the results and if teams around you have lost it doesn't feel as bad on Saturday the fact that we've gone and got beaten by Dorking in a six pointer and all the teams around you have picked up the points it's even it's even more sour um, we know we need to go on a run we know we need to like I said to you before to the Dorking fixture we need to get on a winning run as opposed to an unbeaten run we got a game against Woking on Saturday to put a few wrongs right because I don't think the performance, no, I know the performance wasn't good enough. I know that the standards we set at this football club weren't met and we need to ensure that we go there with the understanding it's a six pointer. I made it very clear to the group in a team meeting this week that that's what it is. We know what they're going to serve up and we need to make sure that we're ready for that and take it to a level that they have to compete to. And that's the task for us tomorrow to go there with the mindset and mentality that it's a relegation fixture um, and we need to ensure that we're coming away with a result come 5pm. Yeah, we've obviously strengthened with Cavs coming in, but we, we go to Woking without the availability of Robinson and Tyrone Marsh. Are you still confident in the personnel you've got in the squad that they'll be able to fill those spaces? So you take Tyrone Marsh and Matt Robinson, I'll raise you Cabby, Tishamanga and Mo Sagaf. We've brought Cabby in and we've got Mo Sagaf back off in national duty and that's not a slant on Marsh or Robinson, but it's the best 18, 19 man squad we've had to our disposal in terms of personnel on the training pitch, personnel available, cabby coming in the building. Um, so yeah, there's no excuses on our part in any way, shape or form. The club's done their work being a chairman and Charlie. Like I say, the work they've done for cabby has been fantastic. And now it's over to us and the players to ensure that we go on a run now and be competitive. And that starts with hopefully a win against Woking tomorrow.